With so many different chlorines in the pool world, things can get a little confusing. You have tablets, granular, liquid, and even non-chlorine. One of the most popular questions we get here within our retail store would be, what chlorine is best for my in-ground swing pool? And how exactly do I use that chlorine? Good news for you today is, I'm gonna answer that exact question. What's up guys, it is Frank here with Royal Pools G2 Outdoor Designs. Before we get started, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it here. And if you feel like you wanna share this with your pool besties, we would also appreciate that. One more thing, check us out on the socials for more cool videos. All right guys, let's talk chlorine. What chlorine is best for your pool and how do you use those chlorines to maintain your pool? Uh, I'm gonna break this down into three sections here. First, I'm gonna describe the two different types of chlorine we have to offer in the industry, which is stabilized and unstabilized. Then I'm gonna go over the wide range of different chlorine products the industry has to offer. And last but not least, how to use these products. Um, specifically, I wanna go over the most popular way that we see that clients like to use these products within their pool. All right, guys, let's talk about stabilized chlorine and unstabilized chlorine. First, let's explain what stabilizer is. Stabilizer also known as sunuric acid or CYA, in short, is sunscreen for your chlorine. So there are certain products that have stabilizer in it and certain products that don't. The most important thing to remember about stabilizer is you wanna keep them within the ranges of 30 parts per million and 40 parts per million. If you are under that range, you're allowing the sun to burn up your chlorine freely. And if you're above 40, the higher you get, the uh, less the chlorine gets uh, to actively work in the water. So too high is not good, too low is not good. So remember, when you're adding in products that have stabilizer in there, that stabilizer will eventually build up higher and higher and higher. So it's always good to keep that in mind. So two common examples that we would see with stabilized chlorine would be the actual three inch tablets that look like hockey pucks. That would be trichlor tablets. They come in three inch or one inch. And the other type that's very common is a dichlor granular chlorine. Now these two chlorines have stabilizer in them, which means they have built in sunscreen. Now let's talk about the unstabilized chlorines the industry has to offer. Let's start with calhypo. Calhypo can come in granular form or tablet form, not to be confused with the trichlor. You also have liquid chlorine or liquid shocks that also come unstabilized being sodium hypochlorite. So remember guys, stabilizer is your sunscreen for your chlorine. Too much stabilizer, your chlorine won't work as efficiently. Too little, you're allowing the sun to burn it up. All right guys, now let's talk about all the different types of chlorines that are offered within the industry. I'm gonna break this down again between stabilized and unstabilized. So right in front of me here, we have stabilized chlorine coming in trichlor form and dichlor form. So trichlor is really great, comes in three inch tablets or one inch tablets. These typically get put in inside of a chlorinator, inside of a chlorine floater, or within your skimmer. We do recommend the first two before putting them in the skimmer, but that's okay if you do, as long as you keep your pool balanced. Now let's talk about dichlor here. Dichlor only comes in granular form. And depending on the brand you have, you wanna be very specific about how you apply this to your swimming pool. Um, an older school technique would be pour this in a bucket of water and dilute it. Um, there are certain brands that'll actually tell you, pour this directly or broadcast this directly over the swimming pool, um, specifically with different granular products. But this one, is, you can always go old school with it and dilute it in a bucket. Just be careful not to splash it on you. So this one does get applied directly to the pool water, whether you have to dilute it or not. All right, let's go over the unstabilized types of chlorine we have to offer. Starting here, you have a calhypo chlorine here. This is an unstabilized chlorine, so it has no sunscreen. This comes in granular form, or as you can see down here, it comes in a tablet form. Um, the one thing I wanna say about the tablet form is, do not mix these tablets in a chlorinator or a floater that have trichlor tablets, all right? For safety purposes, you can create a nice off gas, have a little bit of a, an explosion, actually. So it comes in granular and tablet form. You also have liquid chlorine or liquid shock. This is 12%, um, 12.5% 12 
um, bleach essentially, and you can pour this directly into the water and you get chlorination. And then you have over here, which is kind of a curveball for you, and it has nothing to do with these styles of chlorines, but it is a type of shock you can use. It's a non-chlorine shock. Um, this is also unstabilized, but it actually doesn't have chlorine in it. So there are the wide range of chemicals. Next, I'm gonna tell you what is the most popular way of how to use these products. All right, guys, so now let's talk about the best way to actually use these products. Um, with that being said, I wanna say that it, there is different strokes for different folks. I have eliminated one product specifically from the line right now. Um, and this is probably more along the lines of the reasoning behind why clients feel more comfortable is this is probably more the traditional way as a professional, how we were taught to treat these pools. So it just makes sense to us. So we pass that on to you guys as a client. So uh, what I've eliminated was the Dichlor. Um, you, again, you can use it. All these products are really great for building up free chlorine in your pool. But traditionally, we are taught to shock a pool and shocking a pool is just a nice, fast, rapid peak of free chlorine. And we shock these pools with liquid and granular Cal Hypo. Um, the most popular probably by far would be the liquid. Again, these are fast ways to introduce free chlorine, spike it really, really high. Um, both these products are unstabilized. So with that being said, as you spike them, they will go in, sanitize, disinfect, hopefully clear a green cloud, depending on your dose, but they will also fall rather quickly. So the way we were taught and the way we pass it on to you guys is once you spike that and you get some good sanitation out of it, you're gonna go in and add your tablets. This will actually help that curve once it goes up by shocking, it'll help it fall slower as opposed to having that up and down effect. So the goal would be to shock, disinfect the pool, bring in your tablets and help it fall over a week seven days. That makes it perfect for you to get through the week. Um, along with that, you're going to want to test this theory. Each pool is a little bit different. So you're going to want to go in two, three times a week, strip your water and probably bring it into a professional pool lab. The one thing I do want to say is we do love to use liquid chlorine here. This is, I know I uh, related it to bleach. Technically it is bleach. Bleach is chlorine. But when you go to a professional pool store, you're going to get 12 and a half percent strength as opposed to getting like a Clorox brand bleach or a generic bleach, which will only have about 3%. So it is important to go to your local pool store. Everything they should have should be full strength. So again, this is the most traditional way to balance the chlorine. And you wanna get that range between one to three PPMs when the water is clear. And we, often, we honestly think that um, doing it this way is the fastest way to learn it. Last but not least, what I have here in my hands is one of my favorite products, and it comes in a couple different forms, but this one is a two pound bag of non-chlorine shock. This is not similar to these products, but what it can do and where it is great to use is it can help sanitize and rejuvenate some of the exhausted chlorine in your pool by adding this in. It's also really good. You can add this in after a rainstorm, so you don't want to add any free chlorines, or if you have a pool party at 30 little swimmers about to jump in there. This is a really great product that you can actually shock your pool with 15 to 20 minutes before those little swimmers jump in. So this is a really great way to disinfect your pool without adding more chlorine. All right guys, so there you have it. What is the best chlorine for my swimming pool and how to use each of those chlorines? Hopefully that information was valuable for you guys and we'll see you in the next one.